the Tree of Harmony, the once powerful tree whose fruit protected all of Equestria and gave hope to all the elements of harmony. The tree held many secrets within its branches, many that Celestia herself kept hidden from the public never to be heard of again. Well, that is until now. This is I dreamed since I was small. Every pony will gather round. See, I look lovely in my gown. What they don't know is that I have fooled them all. I could care less about the In order to understand what the Tree of Harmony is hiding, we have to first understand the first bearers of the elements of harmony, namely Celestia. Celestia and Luna were the first ones to ever be able to use the elements of harmony. They knew about them before any pony else did. Otherwise, some pony else would have just jumped in and dealt with Discord on their own. So it's kind of strange that no pony else did that. Instead, it was the two sisters that grabbed the elements that froze our favorite Draconiquus in Carbonite. Sometime after, King Sombra appeared, but this time they didn't really need to use the elements. Hmm, maybe they just got better at using more offensive magic. Then we have the two sisters facing off against each other. We know that Luna had become jealous of her sister and allowed the shadow to take her over, turning her into Nightmare Moon, which forced Celestia to use the elements and banish her to the moon. Now, I used to think that Celestia had just gotten strong enough to use the elements on her own, which is something I just accepted. But that never explained the main six or the pillars. Each one of them had one element that correlated to them. For Pinkie Pie, it was laughter and for Twilight it was magic. So it just seemed kind of strange that Celestia and Luna were the only ones that were the exception to this rule since they both managed to hold three elements in their battle with Discord. Then there's Celestia's foresight. She was always somehow able to know that things would just work out. I mean like who in their right mind would send ponies to face a massive fire-breathing dragon. And that's not even the only instance of this happening. Back at the beginning, Twilight warned Celestia about Nightmare Moon's return. But Celestia told Twilight to stop reading those dusty old books and make some friends. But she never said that she didn't know that Nightmare Moon was going to return. Later, Discord broke out of stone, and Celestia sent Twilight and her friends to take care of him, which they managed to do. But wait, there's more. Celestia sent Twilight to the Crystal Empire to test her ability to let someone else save the day and only focus on playing her part. But here's the kicker though. It's kind of strange that some pony that was the bearer of the elements of harmony wouldn't just take her sister and banish Sombra again like they did a thousand years ago. Well, eventually Celestia takes the main six to see the tree that gave birth to the elements of harmony. And after returning them, the tree produced the box that eventually became Twilight's castle. Speaking of, let Let's talk about the Tree of Harmony since it's been around for over a thousand years. And yes, we all know the story about how the six pillars came together and imbued a seed with their magic, which grew into the Tree of Harmony. They even taught that back at the School of Friendship, but that's not what I want to talk about. After the School of Friendship was formed, the Tree of Harmony was able to manifest into the Spirit of Harmony, being completely separate from the Tree of Harmony. I'm free! The student six eventually explained to the Spirit that friendship wasn't in their nature which forced the spirit to test them. In Salty's video on the Tree of Harmony, they said that the spirit of Harmony let the tree die by Sombra's hoop, or spike I guess. But it wasn't because the tree was useless or anything, but instead it was because the spirit saw the elements and the tree as a distraction for the main six. So instead of believing in the magic of friendship, they believed in the elements. Go check out their theory on it, but not yet, because we have a mystery on our hoofs. After seeing that theory, I was plagued with the question of why why and how could it happen? And then it all started to fall into place. The spirit of harmony was behind everything from the minute it was planted. Just think about it. The purpose of the tree was to protect Equestria and provide harmony. It was even embedded with not just the magic but the will of the pillars. So the tree put into place a plan that would fulfill its destiny. So after Celestia and Luna used them, the elements became connected to the two sisters. The elements could have easily cured Luna of the shadow but instead it chose to banish her to the moon and turn Discord to stone. Why? Because it needed the main six. They were the key to its plan all along. After giving Celestia the foresight she needed because Luna was no longer around, Celestia would set up the magic school to not just find a student, 
but a replacement. Celestia even said that she was looking for some pony to be the princess of friendship. So Celestia knew Nightmare Moon was going to return because that's what the spirit of Harmony set up. So she sent Twilight to Ponyville to make friends and become the element of magic setting her on the path that would save Equestria from the danger it faced. Celestia would later have Discord reformed to bring about the balance between Chaos and Harmony, in which Discord would bring back Sombra, who in return destroyed the Tree of Harmony and its elements. And after sending the main six to various other locations throughout Equestria, they managed to befriend multiple other creatures, connecting them all for the final battle against the Evil Three. So the stage was set, leaving the main six with one thing left to do, to use the magic of friendship to show that friendship is stronger than anything. This left a massive imprint on the other creatures. But there's even more to this theory. The Tree of Harmony was also the one that orchestrated the fall of Equestria, because it knew that the ponies were never truly united, and even Chrysalis was able to break the bonds between the different pony tribes. So with the magic of friendship being known worldwide, it was time to break the tribes apart so another could reunite them, even stronger than before. Because Twilight and the main six were never meant to unite the pony tribes, they were only needed to get the creatures of Equestria to know about friendship. So if you ever see this, Sunny, the spirit has left the fate of Equestria up to you and your friends. You are the hope of Equestria now. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell if you don't want to miss part two. This is Windstriker, signing out. Hoof to heart.